Hey folks, this picture from five and a half years ago is now relevant again. And it certainly merits some explanation apart from the obvious absurdity of trying to calm people down on this roller coaster by telling them not to worry because we're still way up here as they are staring down into the plunge. It really all began six years ago, even before our battles with Harvard over the magnetic event ongoing. Amidst a flurry of attention on the magnetic field changes, MIT, Columbia, and other colleagues used a different method to lower the historical strength of Earth's magnetic field over the last 5 million years. This was used to directly combat the growing concern about Earth's ongoing magnetic changes, accelerating and perfectly due in time of the cycle of data, and they did this by saying that the new reduced paleomagnetic data suggested that we were currently at a higher period of strength, and therefore had a long way to go. They further suggested that having lower field strength was the telltale sign that it was about to happen, and again, that the current above average strength suggested that we were a long way away from the reversal. This is where we had two major problems. First, 5 million years is not an adequate survey of paleomagnetism when we're discussing cycles that unfold over tens or hundreds of thousands of years, let alone millions. And further, regardless of how high we've climbed in the field strength this cycle, the cycle is due to end and we're seeing it happen. It's literally like the Earth is on this roller coaster and we've got CIA shield departments pumping out utterly absurd consolations. It was a posting we made back in 2015, making fun of the very proposition. We didn't think being up so high was much consolation given the cycle timing and the observed changes matching our coming new age perfectly. Of course, it was 2015, and there was no question as to who most people trusted or believed back then. It didn't matter that just a year earlier, Berkeley had confirmed a USGS study suggesting that the magnetic reversal of Earth can happen very quickly. High, low, right down the middle in terms of strength, it can happen quickly when it goes. When it's time, it's time. And that's what we've seen. Despite our peaking strength, the shift from a stable field for millennia to losing 5% per century to 5% per decade, and who knows how much now after the 2017 acceleration, they didn't tell us. No, this is no consolation at all. And now, years later, we've got the scientists coming back and debunking the entire premise of the previous story. First, a proper survey of paleomagnetic data includes hundreds of millions of years at least, and here they looked at a supercron in the Cretaceous in particular, showing that there was not a steady drop in the field to low strength before reversal. It was where it was, and then the reversal just happened, and then it bounced back up to the previous levels. At the end of the day, the notion that magnetic field strength plays a role in the cycle timing is debunked. And so I come back to this Facebook post from years ago, and I wonder where we'd be if the world had taken notice back then, or a decade earlier when National Geographic and NASA tried to sound the alarm. This new one doesn't fall into the category of new news to you observers, but it's new to the rest of the world, and there are now no more arguments left to ignore this, not for professors, governments, your friends and family, and anyone you're trying to help inform, and certainly not for you. To learn more, see the playlist directly below the video. I'll see you in the morning for the daily update. Be safe, everyone.